On this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to install a digital timer on any light switch around your house. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So the reason why I want to install an automatic digital timer switch on one of my light switches right here is because one of the switch controls the light outside my front porch and I want it to turn on whenever it's starting to get dark and I want it to turn off when the sun starts coming up. This switch being installed, it will automatically save me time and it will definitely save me on my electrical bill. You wanna first turn off the power from your circuit breaker. Before I take off the switch, I want to introduce this tool right here. It's an automatic screwdriver. It comes with two bits of flat head and a Phillips head. It comes with a really cool light at the end to make it easy to see and it's adjustable handle like so. Now again, if you're interested on this, I'll leave the link on the description down below along with all the tools that I use on this project or this video. I'm going to go use my voltage tester. Now it's very important that you use a voltage tester just to make sure that there's no power feeding on any of these before you take them out. So, so far there is no voltage on any of them. Now, before you even use this, make sure you test it out on a live wire. So make sure that this is actually working. Now I just pull this out. So in case you didn't know friends, I actually upgraded this electrical box and along with these switches. And if you haven't seen that video, check out this video up here. In order for us to work efficiently, I suggest that you take out these other switches right here so we can get access to the other wires at the back. So with that being said, I'm gonna be removing these as well. So now that I took out all the switches, I'm not gonna disconnect these two switches right here. This is the only one that we're gonna be replacing. This used to be just regular wire nuts that are connecting all these wires, but I cleaned it up and used my Wago 221 connectors because I knew that I was gonna somehow replace this switch in the future, which will make my job a lot easier where we are right now. Let me show you how easy it is now to disconnect this switch just by using these Wego 221s if you plan to use this on your future projects. So I'm gonna retest everything and make sure that there is no power feeding onto these hot wiring. The bottom one is connecting to the power. This one is connecting to the load and this one is going to the ground wire. So always make sure that you take note of that. If you can't, make sure you label it accordingly with some masking tape or any type of label. So I'm gonna follow this line wire going to the group where it's connected. Lift up one of the levers right here and boom, it should just come out easily just like that. Now that is the advantage of using lever Wago 221 connectors. If this was a wire nut, I will have to untwist everything and all these wires would come loose and I will have to deal and manage those wires all over again if once I connect the new switch. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with the ground wire. I'm gonna trace it to where the group is at. Pardon my birds, I do have parakeets. This one comes out. This one is the load wire, which means that this is the one that's going to the light fixture outside my house. So I'm just gonna disconnect this. What I like to use is my combination screwdriver. It's a Robertson head bit with a flat head incorporated like, a, like wings. And this one is by Klein Tools. And it fits perfectly onto that connector, just like that. This wire right here is back wired at the back. So all we gotta do is loosen this wire terminal and then we'll be able to pull it out just like that. It's up to you whether you wanna save this switch right here. It's still a perfectly good light switch. So I'm gonna be saving this just in case I wanna switch out my older light switches. The timer that I'll be using is this BN Link. This one's the seven day digital wall timer, meaning that this is controlled. It runs 24 seven, seven days you can program it. Now there are other digital timers out there that are similar and I'll leave the link on the description down below on this specific one and the other options that you can use. I believe there's one by Defiant as well, but this one I chose because this one actually already has built in wiring on them. So it's very easy to install. It already tells you which one is the hot one, which is the, where the line is gonna go to and it has the load, which one we just took out right here. And it has the 
three-way blue wire in case you're attaching this to a three-way switch and you have one for the ground and you have one for the neutral wire right here. All the wiring that you need is all labeled and all color coded and you don't need to pigtail anything. That being said, it's simple, just plug and play. And the only thing that we're not gonna use is this three-way switch because we are replacing it from a single pole switch. This one, we're just gonna cap off and leave it out on the side for future use, just in case we go over it, like we change this out to a three-way switch. Now you kind of see why it's so important to take out these two, just so that we can have enough room to work on with our hands. Take our hot wire right here. This is the hot line. And we're gonna attach it right to where all these switches are powered on to this one right here where we took out that line. Close the lever and that's it. Looks like I'm in luck. I have one space open here for a neutral. Close that off. What we have left is the, the load, the ground, and the three-way. The three-way we're not gonna be using now let's attach the ground. There you go. Uh, since this is the one that we're not gonna use, I'm just gonna reuse this with a wire nut and I'm gonna cap that off. We're just gonna shove that somewhere there where it's not gonna get in the way. And now we're left with the load wire. Now the load wire is the one that's connected to the actual light fixture outside. Two-way lever. And then I'm gonna attach this load now right inside like that. The beauty of having Wago 221s. They're so easy. And there you have it, friends. Now you have everything nice and wired. It's time to put everything back. Make sure that you place everything nice and neat. And don't forget, friends, the handy tool that I always like to use is the Volt Claw right here. It's super helpful. It has the push, it has the pull feature, the twist. This will help you push all these wires in here without having to damage your fingers. Before you fully screw down all of these, you're gonna place your cover that you can move around any switch to make it aligned. And now we can tighten everything. Now before we put back this cover plate, we're gonna turn on back the power and we're gonna test every one of these to make sure that they're working correctly. Let's go turn on the power back from the circuit breaker. Push this button so it looks like this lights up and illuminates and let's go look outside off on now when the light is on there's all a light on indication and when it's off it says off now let's put on back the cover plate and i'll show you how to program it so that we can have actually have a timer going on on the right times that we want. I'm gonna set the time and program this accordingly. So if you don't wanna watch this, feel free to just end the video. But if you want to know how to set and program this, please keep on watching, okay? So let's go start and program the time. So I'm gonna press program. And now I'm gonna press day. So I'm gonna, today's Wednesday. You can see that it's scrolling on the top. It says Wednesday to hour set it on the time and then the minute so on the hour make sure you keep going it's actually p.m so we're going to keep scrolling until it goes p.m to 06 p.m we're going to press program again and that is set I'm gonna program the switch so that it turns on every day at 6 p.m. and turns off the following morning at 7 a.m. And I'm gonna do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You're gonna press program twice, press day, and we're gonna go scroll through the different combinations. So the combination now is all entered. All the days are showing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then I'm going to press the hour. So I'm going to go all the way to the time that I want, which is 6 p.m. Program again. And now it's going to go to off. I'm going to do the same thing for the off. We're going to choose the different combinations. 
and then we're going to go to hour and we're going to have it turn off at 7 a.m. To double check if you have everything programmed, just go back to program and then press program again and you notice how everything is saying Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 6 p.m. It'll turn on and then if you press it again, same days right here and it will turn off at 7 a.m. in the morning. So there you have it friends, that's how you can easily install a digital timer switch on any of your light switches. Like, comment, subscribe if you find this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Just a quick disclaimer, my electrical codes and your electrical codes might be different. So always make sure that you're always current with your current local electrical codes. Make sure you have the proper permits and make sure you always turn off the power from your circuit breaker whenever you're working with electricity. And if you're unconfident and unsure about working with electrical, please contact a certified and qualified electrician. With that being said, my full disclaimer is in the description down below.